Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about arrays in Sugarcube 2.28. Beyond saving simple string or numerical values, Sugarcube also supports direct access to creating arrays through JavaScript. In programming terminology, then, we need to realize an array is an ordered sequence of values. They are created through using opening and closing square brackets. In Sugarcube, like in JavaScript itself, arrays start at position 0. This is important because we need to remember what it, the value's position is so we can access it later. And I'll get into that in just a moment. Like with any other variables, array values are saved through using the set macro. So we create a variable with the value of an array. Within the array, it has an ordered sequence of values. We can then access it using this format right here by placing the variable by itself within the passage to see its values, or we can access them individually. An array is an ordered sequence of values. Again, coming back to this idea of it being ordered, and it's a sequence of values, it's a values in a very particular order, and that order matters. To get at any individual value within an array, its position needs to be known. This is where that ordered sequence comes into play. And as a reminder, arrays in JavaScript start at position zero. So the first entry within the array is always position 0 in JavaScript. Values can be accessed in an array through using opening and closing brackets after the variable's name and the position of the value within the sequence. We see here this is the value at position 2. And remember, of course, arrays start at position 0. Let's look at this code so that it makes a little more sense. We see here, like I mentioned, we create variables in Sugarcube by using the set macro. If a variable does not exist, it is created for us. If it already exists, its value is updated. In this case, we're saving the value of an array. An array, as I mentioned in JavaScript, uses opening and closing square brackets and then a sequence of values. And this is an ordered sequence of values. So whatever, sequ whatever order we put these values in will be their order. In this case, I have the values 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the values we put within arrays can be any other va valid values within JavaScript. These could be strings or numerical values or even arrays or other objects. Anything that's valid within JavaScript can be used within Sugarcube in this manner. So we see here though I just have four values, four numerical values, one, two, three, and four in that order. And I'm creating it using open and closing square brackets. And setting this variable to this value. The value itself is the entire array. So we see we've now created an array and saved its value to this variable array variable. Notice this is also a story variable, which means we can use it in other passages, which becomes important when we're accessing its values. Right here we see we're repeating this. We created it in the previous passage, and now we're using in this other passage. This is a story variable, notice the dollar sign, which means we can access it throughout the story once it is created. We see here we can access individual values within the array using open and closing square brackets and then the position of the value. Remembering of course that arrays are ordered sequence of values, so that order is important and we access those values using its position within that ordering. So we see here two. Two is the second position. It's actually the third value though. Remember of course that arrays start with zero position, then one, then two. So coming back to this, we saw one, two, three, four. Zero, one, two, three, which is what we expected to see. That is in fact the second position starting at position zero, position one, and position two which is the value 3. So in this video I reviewed how to use arrays in Sugarcube. Arrays are actually JavaScript functionality and as long as we keep that in mind we can look up stuff uh, while we're searching the web and find helpful articles to help us with dealing with arrays and creating more complex data structures. But the very simple basics of it are that we create an array using open and closing square brackets around a sequence of values. They're separated by commas when we initially create them. We then can access those values using its ordering and knowing individual positions. Remember, of course, that positions start with zero in Sugarcube. Thanks for watching.